the truth. Welcome back to the Binging with Babblers podcast. I'm Abdul and join with today Ashwath and Christian. Christian! <laughs> Stop. If you're not already subscribed, hit that big red button down below. Turn uh, Click on that gray bell, turn on notifications, drop a like on this video, and leave any comments suggesting any year nays, topics, or anything. How's it going? How's it going, Christian? Pretty good. How you doing? Good. And I got a surprise for both of you. This is our oh, 20th right. episode and joined with Christian. So you're special. One of our classmates from our school. Yep. He's, he's our special guest for our 20th episode. And uh, yeah, how are you guys doing? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Just relaxing throughout the summer. Just nothing special, really. Just pretty alive. Pretty alive. Not I mean, dead. yeah, we're all just pretty alive. Not dead. <laughs> not dead. Those replies every day, like students would say, say those responses like, how are you doing? I'm alive. Like I remember in class, that was like the thing to say. <laughs> no, no, Miss Freaking Miss Wizawadi told us we can't say dead anymore in her class because she oh. would be like, "How you doing?" And we were all just like, "Yeah, we're dead." <laughs> I think I kind of got that bad. Like, cool. I mean, when you have something bad, you know it became popular. But why don't you guys start us with the yay or nays? Abdul? Yay or nays? All right. So for ho for those of you who don't know how yay and nays go, I ask a question. Let's say old one about peanuts. What are the, your thoughts on peanuts? You either say yay or nay, and you give us an explanation. So first one is Uber. Yay or nay? Huh? Uber. Yay or nay for Uber? Do you like Uber? Do you think it's good? It's bad? Uh -huh. Yay or nay? The only the only reason I like Uber is from that old like Uhu Jobber mean. From like five years ago. What is it? You've never seen the Uhu drop for me? I don't know. I haven't seen many memes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of an uh, uncultured memer. I'll send it to you later. All right. But okay, for me, I don't know, man. It's like it's kind of. I feel it's weird to just get in a car with a stranger, even though it's like Uber is such a big company. Like I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I'd take an Uber on my own. Maybe with like other people, but. Kind of a nay for me, because I don't think I'd ever take Uber on my own. It's just to be a bit weird. I don't know. Well, I see that, but like a random taxi is what? Same a thing. Random taxi on no, the it's the same thing. I, I'm, I have the same comments about a yeah, random yeah, taxi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, like, I would say yay, because like a random taxi could be a random person, but Uber hires these people true, there true. from an organization, and everything is like has a paper trail. Everything is there. So if you forget something, you do something, it's always going to come back and with uber i have to say yay because a lot of people's livelihood is on uber for like personally going on an uber i would do it if need be but like i've never seen myself in a position where i had to get an uber so what are like you would you say benefits to uber like thinking about it like because we like not for us for adults really uh, uber benefits them after uh partying and like, you know, Wait, drunk were driving. You, yeah, before we do that, with Christian, were you about to say something? No, I was just thinking. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, yeah, like you said, adults are like, they have to go to work every day. Not everyone can have their own car or take the bus or a train. And so Uber is like always convenient. It could be expensive, but if you can afford it, it's there. It's a convenient let, let, Let's think about this. Travel. Uber oh, yeah, yeah. doesn't treat their, uh, they don't treat their employees well. That's, yeah, I think. I've like, we've that known before. that as a proven yeah. fact for years. Wow, like, I've heard so, that, but I never really thought of it. How do they not treat their employees correctly? What do they do? Um, one thing I've heard is like healthcare or like insurance yeah, wise. Healthcare. And definitely, the money you're making from Uber is just going back into your gas tank. If we're being honest, because a twenty thirty dollar ride is just paying for gas. Um, yeah, yeah, that just makes could, sense. That's a good point. Yeah, they, they don't pay you back for your miles spent. It it's just a train wreck, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could say that. Uber, so, Uber, Uber. They had a voting for it this past election. If they, it was like drivers for uh, being anonymous and like not being the nine to five for it to be flex schedule. 
which involved no healthcare and then like at least the propaganda or what was shown on the ads is that they don't want it they don't want healthcare so yeah there's that debate there's always a debate in everything yeah but for me I, you don't know though it's just the, like you said it's on ads you never know but i'd say yeah. i'd say it's in the middle for me yay or nay middle oh. the I, fact that there are so many ads just out there saying if you work for uber for this time period you are granted a substantial amount of money yeah uh, now oh uh, well, yeah, yeah it sounds a bit fake if you really think about it but. It, it sounds fake but there's got to be reasoning to why they created it yeah a quick did you know that uber was selling rides on a at a loss for years eliminating their competition and then once they're the only one they created a monopoly and then raised all the prices so i used to cost maybe six dollars I mean, yeah, that's how you, i guess that's how go, you build a company uh, yep and they used to cost like six dollars to go to downtown now it's like 12 15 so they doubled the prices after the loss because they went public and then they need earnings to satisfy their investors. So, yeah. All right. Let's How are we going to get in a taxi, though? Taxi? Yeah. yeah. Have... You can yep. track a taxi. True. You could. You can. Because... You can? Yeah. Oh. All the yeah, technology in it is made to track it so nothing can happen. Well, that's good to know. Thank you, right. Christian. <laughs> and then that's, the next one, yeah. I've been told you love it uh, by Ashwat Kahoot. Oh. <laughs> no. I don't like I wouldn't Kahoot. say he likes Kahoot. I said he, he used to mention it and use it a lot in school. Oh, okay. So <laughs> what is the issue with you? I never know if he liked it. Like, that's it all just... he did in field class. That's <laughs> no, he did. Or you did it in so many people's classes that just yeah. got repetitive. I guess yeah, who is like a you, a thing that teachers think is cool like everywhere. So they just use it so much until it gets overused and it's just boring. Like yeah, that's yeah, all. We used it in cooking a lot, didn't we? Yeah, and like it just cooking, got like, boring. Yeah, because you use it in so many classes, just like Christian yep. said, overuse. So I think at this point, it's a nay for me. Kahoot. Nay for you. I agree. I totally like, agree. If the once in a while Kahoot game. Is yeah, I guess a once in a while. Me. What I hate about Kahoot is like one wrong answer is gonna send you all the way down. Yeah, it just true. makes you just gets yeah. you so like riled up. So for me, it's a yay. A lot of teachers use it as a reward that doesn't cost anything. So for that, I would probably say yay. Yeah, and I guess it's also just not as boring of a way to learn or test your. Mm -hmm. uh, qu Intellect, skills yeah. yeah and like see where you're at for teachers to do that so yep. yeah i guess it's not all the bad part about it is just being in like 22nd place and then <laughs> there's someone in 23rd and you're just like at least i'm not last honestly <laughs> though yeah, it's always like in my head at least I'm not i was this always guy. behind oshawa like he i was never in front of you you were always in front of me yeah i usually i usually try to sweat in those like once in a while i'd be like i don't really care but like when the times I'm trying, I'm like, I'm trying to win. <laughs> you used to log on on your phone, didn't you, Oshawa? It was yeah, because uh, it was so much easier. Easier. Yeah, it was faster to tap. Faster yeah, to tap. All right. Uh, what about next? Well, so, what did yeah. you say, guys? Uh, nay, yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah. It's getting a bit nah. boring. But once in a while, I'm, yeah. Once in a while. Yeah, likewise. And uh, next one is sparkling water. Your thoughts on just sparkling water. Just water that is sparkled with no taste, let's say. Absolutely okay. not. I'd rather die. <laughs> That's bubbly. a no-no word. <laughs> ha ha have you had bubbly? Bubbly? No, I haven't. Have or you uh, LaCroix. LaCroix? No, I don't I think have? I have. I, it's been a while since I've had sparkling water in general, so... Oh. Imagine someone eating a fruit and then breathing in your water. That's a good explanation. That's an interesting <laughs> explanation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That I mean, that doesn't sound appetizing at all. So yeah, it's not it puts you off. <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 indifferent towards it. Like whatever, if it's there, why not? But at the same time, it doesn't. I don't really like want to drink it or anything. But when I was younger, I always used to want to get sparkling water. But like, oh uh, oh, uh, I'll know. put you on. Have you ever had clear? 
Claire? No, I don't even know. I pro maybe I have. I just don't remember brand names like ever for anything. Oh, uh, it's from Walmart. It's a Walmart brand, and it's super good. Clear. Well, be sure to uh, check that out. But wait, Abdul, what about you? For sparkling. Interesting water? fact. I think I might have said it. Said it like maybe first couple episodes. I hate soft drinks. Anything. Oh with yeah, bubbles, you mentioned this a lot. I can't yeah, drink. You don't like yeah. the bubbly stuff. Like growing up, soda was forbidden. And then, really, I never liked the taste so because I never really had it to get used to it. And, yeah, for me, it's an A. I'd rather just drink still water, free brandy. Oh, no. I'm not the only one who has the whole gallon right <laughs> next to me. <laughs> I'm brand new. Yep, yep. That's my I mean, Abdul's, I Abdul's me. AC isn't working right now, so it's 91 degrees in his room. <laughs> you got to do it. I mind off, you guys feet. wouldn't hear it. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. We thank you, thank it. you. See, this is the type of people we want. Thank you, Christian. Come on, and... on. you would just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be a not so nice situation for our ears. And but so, barking low <laughs> for me right. is a nay. Yeah, for me, yeah. it's a. It, I guess it's a yay. Like I'm not yay. opposed to it, but like mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go out all to drink it. And like, Christian yeah. said, it was a nay for you, right? So. Yeah. All right. Next one. Uh, fish. Fish. Not Ooh, sushi. Like just fish. fish. I like fish. I like salmon. I like fish. Yeah. Salmon's I mean, good. I don't think. Yeah, salmon especially. I don't really like other fish in general, unless like you mentioned, is it's in sushi. But like on its own, like I do like salmon a lot. So I, it's a yay for me. Yeah. You know, I like calamari. 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 Yeah. That, I guess that's good. Does that that's count good. as fish? I mean, I guess. Underwater. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, it's seafood, so... It's an alien, so... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what people say. The seafood and stuff, yeah. Looks like yeah. Roger from... I mean, there are dead. some weird fish. <laughs> bro, there are some weird fish that look alien. Yeah, they remember, are. But... Like, to us... Yep, yep, I agree. For me, fish, I really don't care how it looks. I'm used... I'm not used to the taste. I'm not, like, against the taste. Because you know how fish has that fishy taste. I mean, I'm not against yeah, that taste. The fishy taste. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. chicken has a chicken taste. But with fish, I like that taste. Like, I okay. have any type of fish. I had fish tacos recently. Uh, I had a friend who came back from Alaska, like, a week ago. And he's he's caught that halibut fish and then made tacos. So, it was really fresh. It was the best taco I've ever had, really. So, let me put... Fish tacos are good when they're fresh. Have you have you had it, Christian? Uh, fish tacos, no. Fish tacos uh, yeah, are good. I'll admit it. Like if they're well made, yeah. But like if you I have, haven't had like a wide variety of fish. Yeah, neither have I really. I've had like uh salmon and like ta a little bit. Some, tappy something. I can't remember. Tappy. Maybe something. I don't remember. Uh, but there's. Yo, I know that? what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like the fish that we always eat at home that my mom cooks. Like. Those tilapia. are really the only two. Yeah, t tilapia. There we go. The one that's not a real fish, and we all we, all of us wonder where it comes from. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not exactly. a fish. But yeah, I mean, yeah, fish is fish is fine, as long as it's well made. If it's if it's not well made, bro, it can go horribly wrong. It can taste horribly wrong. Well, there was one time uh, salmon was served, and it was still raw from the inside, and it was so gushy and i kept eating it just out of respect for the person who made it <laughs> too kind I, too kind and then i just my stomach hurt all night because of food what poisoning <laughs> what, what? Food po <laughs> yep. raw but, salmon isn't bad for you yeah it's, it's not, not like raw, raw fish is not like but i bad think for your health. the True. thing is it upset my stomach because i don't really have raw fish so it was like a new like you've told yeah. me ashwa with you if you have like uh, food out of your diet really it makes your stomach hurt or something of the sort you told me before Maybe. Do you only like indian food or so you told me that <laughs> i definitely Dude. never said that bro Whoa. i'm the guy who eats everything it, makes sense, it totally makes but sense. it makes sense it's like if, if that was what was like if i yeah. was like that it's yeah it kind of makes sense yeah it's like yeah so it was you know like that where food out of your diet it makes you like you know like yeah i think a lot yeah. of people are probably like that it makes sense if you maybe your first reaction is to not your body is not, yeah, yeah. not well. It depends on how major it is. Yeah. Yep. That too. Like, let's see. Like, if you're going to American food to, like, spicy Thai or spicy Indian food, 
you're not gonna have a fun time at your first try. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh. But oh yeah, I mean, yeah, my first try wasn't that pleasant. Really, <laughs> uh, you gotta ease into it. Really. Yeah. Because uh, and uh, you we were so were yay on all of us for fish. Yeah. Oh yeah. All of us. Let's... Yep. Yep. All right. Yep. Final year. And then uh, final one, uh, YouTuber merch. What do you guys think of like YouTube guys making their own merch? I mean sometimes it's just so annoying because they always constantly promote it and like they do stuff that's questionable to promote it but at the same time like it's another way for them to make income but versus some youtubers it's like the biggest way to in to make income because you know so many some of these guys are getting demonetized all the time yep yep i mean but... you can either save the kids or sell <laughs> merch i'd rather sell merch really yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wow <laughs> wow that, that was a violation right there that was a violation <laughs> Uh, what about you, Christian? I'm gonna go nay. Uh, How come? It depends on who it is. If yeah, you're true. like Mr. Beast and you're actually trying to do good with your money, which we definitely can't prove, but like we'll say he is. But like if you're promoting your merch and your merch is going back into just you and. I mean, you could say, people, you can make the argument. Or your family. You can make the argument that when they. So March and they yeah, it's go back to them, but it goes back to them so they can spend more money on videos. I mean that's well, obviously spending more money on yourself. Yeah, you don't Let's know. About, exactly. If, if you're a gamer or something, your money, unless you're gonna buy a new PC or something which benefits you. True. Very true. It's going back into your personal pocket. If you're not gonna do anything that's benefiting someone else, I I'd like to see you benefit someone else in one way at least. Yeah, that's a that's a valid argument. Yep. I'm mean, like, yep. they get a lot of money from sponsors and just YouTube ads in general. These are the bigger YouTubers or even the decent sized YouTubers, so they don't necessarily need the extra money that comes from merch. And like, I guess putting it back into the community is a uh, is a good idea. Yeah, I'll support a smaller YouTuber. Like, if you guys created merch, I'll buy something. Yeah, binging with Babbler's merch. Binging with right. Babbler's merch. <laughs> because uh you know us like there's a relationship there you would probably uh well what about you, you for the idea for me um first of all what's your favorite uh merch someone's ever sold you don't have to have i've bought never it, bought what's merch. the favorite like, i don't know hoodie I, shirt I, I you've ever been. seen and you've wanted to buy i've never really it, checked so out merch from youtube it's like i know some designs but like nothing really honestly you know my favorite design bit controversial but you know the maverick hoodie where oh, it, it was okay. like blue gray and then the maverick logan paul. Hit. logan paul oh my god that hoodie got me going crazy i used to love how it looked um i, I mean know, you don't have to was... like the youtuber with the merch can be no i like i was never too, allowed to no i know yeah yeah you were never allowed to well no cheers to whoever told you you can't because <laughs> that wasn't really after you recorded a dead body my mom was just like no I mean, yeah, that's completely understandable. You don't know yeah, what's yeah, going to happen after much. that. Yep. But, but I used to watch him before all the controversy hit him and what he did. And, like, that was, like, OMG, I always wanted it. But, like, really, why am I benefiting? And I don't know. I just didn't buy it. And right, can we I would wait, say wait. for me, um, yeah, for YouTuber merch... I would say it's a yay, but like as Christian said, okay. you don't know what they do with their yeah, money. I mean, exactly. they could be funding slavery in Africa, and <laughs> you wouldn't know it. So you should always try to fund people that you know they're gonna put it towards their craft, really. So we're gonna move on from the year nays into a more serious kind of topic, a more a bit of a recent topic at the same time, not that recent if you if we delve into it it's going to be about the olympics we mentioned this in our last episode but we're gonna go more in depth about you know just the olympics i guess you could say being racist i guess that's like to put it in layman's terms christian i know you suggested this idea for us do you want to just maybe open up the discussion sure um i'm gonna open it up with a question that i asked literally everyone so, huh? No, it wouldn't make sense wording it like that. But um, if you were, if no, that doesn't make sense. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I've said this way too many times, and now realizing that it makes absolutely no sense, but <laughs> everyone understood it. Just say it to us. Just say it, so say it. Piece okay. It together. No, you're not going to piece this together. I'm like hood jersey, dude. <laughs> um, if you were from Tokyo or Japan, or in a different culture, and something happened to your culture, as in what's happening to the Asian Americans, which is absolutely wrong. I'm not saying it's not. But then, African African Americans are having a not a similar issue, um, which is police brutality, right? And instead of working together to resolve the one issue together, you worked against each other. Yeah. Like the yeah. Asian American and uh, African American communities are working against each other. Is that what yeah. you're saying? You know, yeah. I get what you yeah, mean. I've seen that, I feel like, yeah, I've seen that news about that before in the past, especially where those two communities fought for like, even though they were both like, you know, minorities and getting yeah. discriminated against. But yeah, wait, what? what was, did you finish? Did you finish Christian or? Yeah. So okay. what I, so you're comparing the Asian American community to Tokyo in this stance. And then no. what are you comparing it to then? I'm uh, comparing, I'm not comparing anything. Oh, you're just saying that two minorities are oppressed should I'm band saying, together rather yeah. than fight each other? Yes. Exactly. Why yeah, work okay. against each other while you're both being racially discriminated? Yeah, you, yeah, like, you're just, you're just making it worse for both of your groups because you're not getting yeah. anything done by fighting each other because it's not the Asian American people or the African American people that are oppressing each other. It's the, you know, the, just the overall racist government and authority that's doing it so fighting against each other is not going to get anything done if you work together you can try to get rid of that oppression right so yeah i see that's yeah. I think that's a good point yeah christian when is there like a what is it an event where they worked against each other because i can't really think of one on the top of my so, head. so during the olympics yep um they were told in the beginning, I'm pretty sure they clarified this later on, but the first thing that came out was you're not allowed to wear Black Lives Matter merchandise yeah, at, the Olympics, uh, at the Olympics. Oh. And not just that, you, you're you not allowed to do any protests representing that, like yeah. the fist or kneeling. You can't anyway. represent BLM yeah, during the Olympics. Oh. Yep. You know, and that's been there happens. for a while. It's been there since like... It Oh, like it happens the 60s. in sports. Yep, it, it's been there since the 60s. But it, this is a uh, this is the thing that keeps happening in sports, where because we're uh, at least international sports, we're combining so many nations. It's not uh, like and each nation thinks differently. So, like uh, there was a year where the U.S. boycotted the Olympics because uh, I forget why. Do you know why, Christian? I or, don't. Uh, Ashwa, so because uh, there was like difference in i guess in a thing so like to be safe they really a lot of other nations don't really agree with blm do they so they don't want that being portrayed so the nation doesn't leave or doesn't feel upset i don't know do you get what i mean it's all politics really. they, they don't feel remorse for what's going on yeah yep. exactly it's they don't politics. they don't care about what hap what's happening in this other country they just worry about yep. their own country and they don't want any yep. complications so they're like we don't want this to happen so the com you, you the committee needs to make sure like blm can't be represented in the olympics is you know th things that happen in america most times when another country hears about it and i know that this just doesn't only happen in america but when it but when you create something in america and you tried to spread it worldwide to make a change it's just not gonna happen yeah because other nations look the, down the on amount America. of countries that we've messed with stolen from and that yeah. um and literally what killed genocides stuff like that no one's gonna want to help us with i wouldn't that. say america generally I would, i'd say more like I, america and europe like europe who oh, you know yeah, yeah totally and europe created america so, and they've done 
so much to other countries in the or past. you could say superpowers really yeah the, the people british. who got the, the superpowers of the world really but yeah i don't i don't think it's just not to help america i think it's just that there are parts of the earth where this uh, enlightenment the age of enlightenment where we see wrong from right they don't want that to happen and they don't really agree with that because it's going to cause them a lot of problems so that's at least my opinion that's how i see it and they don't want that to happen in the Olympics. but you said christian you said that it was cleared up later or oh um later on from what i read i've read an, arc an article about it this morning uh, but um, later on, apparently they said you couldn't wear any type of uh, uh, activist movement. Okay, so see that, I think that's a bit more understandable. Cause, like, that I, I think BLM. the reason they did it, though, was so they didn't look racist. Yeah, that could also or, be the thing. We don't know what goes behind behind goes on behind closed doors. It could be that, for sure. Like, just be, because bro, people are still racist through this day, and they'll do anything to make it seem like they're not racist, right? So we don't know... If that was the reason yeah. or not but yeah aren't yep. uh, and then uh, you also mentioned something about hairstyles and i researched that there is something about like uh a swim cap made for like like hairstyles that a lot of african-american like women especially have and they the olympics banned that because they were like it was a different like size and like conformed oh. to a different head shape so they banned that talked about hairstyles that had nothing to do with the olympics oh. Wait, <laughs> just what do you mean? Out. <laughs> that, 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 that had nothing. That no, was that, that was banned by the, the. There was a swim cap because uh, that oh, was made for. Yeah, it oh. was made for African American. Yeah. They say, at least in the, what I read, for African American women. But the they banned it because they said the, the organization behind the Olympics, it makes the head look de deformed from the back. They don't want it in the thing or just not aesthetically pleasing or something so um yeah so yeah that's the controversy today and then a lot of uh, people took it at heart because like usually it's worn by african-american uh, women so is that that like against them or uh, i think that's the stand that's been yeah and like yeah and there were some like you know like olympic level athletes african-american female olympic level athletes like you know saying what you're saying abdul like it also gives them it's basically you're putting black women at a disadvantage because you're not allowing them to wear something that can that you know basically like that swim cap that is made for them is the same thing as just a regular swim cap made for just you know like white women they just have yeah. different cultures and different hairstyles where they need this but it's not giving them an advantage it, it's no there's no advantage i think but I think, like, you can solve it by, like, maybe changing your hair so you don't, like, get a disadvantage during the race or yeah, something. Yeah, but why should they why have to do that? Why should you have to change Yeah, that's hair. what I'm saying. Hopefully, you don't, like, because your hair, it could be messy. But and people, and the, 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 you, you said this, Abdul, the, the people have actually, like, black women have actually done that. They have, they've, like, cut their hair just so yeah. it's, like, what you said. So I don't think they should yeah. have to do that, right? It, I, it's, yeah, yeah. It's I don't really think, funny how all these races, not all races, but especially white people want to steal different cultures, like, such as hair, language, um, stuff like that. And then when it comes to something that helps with the hairstyle, if they're not using it, it's just not allowed. So we're going to move on from the topic of the Olympics into a different one uh, about Okay, I'll just say, uh, black history, how it's taught in school, another idea, topic that Christian suggested, and if, again, Christian, are you, do you want to open the discussion again? There's actually nothing that needs to be open, we could just pretty much widespread talk about it. Yeah, so, right. I just read, I, I, before this, I read a couple articles, and I was looking, and like, yeah, it was an eye-opener, because I didn't realize, like, Here's the thing, we, we, I feel like we do focus on the Civil War at, like, some grades, but at the same time, I feel like it's, we don't, we don't know as much as we think we do, right? Because, as at least from my, what I've been reading, we go into the Civil War, but we don't delve deep enough, and we, we only know these figures like Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, and all that, right? At least, like, for people who are not African American. The Civil Rights, uh, that's the Civil Rights Act. Yeah, pretty much, you just know these War. famous... Yeah. 
Civil rights, yeah. sorry, not civil war. But <laughs> I was like, hold on. <laughs> we just know these. The we just know the a lot of us. We just know the uh, figures of the uh, African American yep. figures of the past that have been rooted in the struggles of these people, and we don't know ones that aren't just rooted in the struggles or ones that are way more in the past. So I think that's one thing that is a problem in education where we we don't know more about like different parts of oh. Black history. Um, Ashwa yeah. and Christian, I'd like to ask: When was the first grade where where you learned about black um, Black American history or African American history in class? Like, when was the first grade? Would you say? Okay. Like, I remember because I went to seventh grade in the U.S. where we learned about the Middle Ages. It was definitely before seventh grade. I'll tell you that. No, I learned. A, I think it was the, fourth. Fourth? fourth fourth sounds about right yeah fourth fourth i'd say fourth for me it was eighth grade maybe days. third but yeah, yeah. but the, the only days it was ever talked about was martin was, was no we never talked about anything on black history month wow i mean like i feel like even <laughs> then since we we're in fourth grade i feel like we have moved forward a little bit but at the same time not as much like i at least for me i think was that in Virginia or California, Christian? I not, never lived in Virginia. Uh, not Virginia. Where did you Where did you move from? I forgot. New Jersey. New Jersey. My bad. My bad. But was that Were yeah. you in fourth grade in New Jersey or California? Yeah, I was first. I was in everything before. Uh, seven. Yeah. In New Jersey. Eight or seven was Jersey. When I, when I, I was reading and like I saw that California it was. The first state to have a law, and like even now we don't have not all states have laws about this, but to have a law about having Black history in the textbooks and, <laughs> or in the curriculum. I don't obviously it exists, that's not enough. But it's never yeah, it exists, but it's not enough. I think it's past our time because like my brother, he talks to me about stuff that he learned in class that I didn't learn until later. So I think he's like in second grade and he's learning about uh, slavery and what happened. So. I guess they progressed by the time definitely. from the time we were in the lower you know classes. What? I definitely did learn about uh, Harriet Tubman and uh, Harriet Tubman. Yeah, I these are, these are the big ones. Yeah, Harriet that's Tubman. person I learned about in seventh grade. My English class. Uh, she assigned us to do research about uh, on Black History Month, and then I got Harriet Tubman as my person. I was one away from Martin Luther King back then. I didn't know any of this and then i was like oh no but then when i got to read about harriet tubman it was uh really a, an eye opener for me at least because i've never really experienced or like been taught anything about black history before and then it showed me that there's more to the big names that you hear and uh, as we're trying to say right now in this podcast um i wanted to mention something not necessarily about what's taught but just like who teaches it right because the more majority of teachers in the u.s are white and this is like a proven fact in the study i'm not i don't remember which yeah. article i read this in but i've read i read this right so yeah and that's like I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised yeah because like i think the majority is white in the u.s uh yeah also people. that and yeah like that's I've like white teacher exactly black like oh. a lot like a white person yeah. like even if they're trying no matter how hard they're trying they're not mm. gonna they're not going to be as well as educated as a black person on their own history. So I think that's one problem. And like, even with like how, like, you know, back in the day, at least when, you know, when they first racism f first started, you know, not being as bad in the U S and like, you know, let's say black kids and t uh, black kids are integrated into white schools. It wasn't the opposite, right? Like black kids had to move to white schools to, for, to integrate. Yeah. There's they had to move to white schools to integrate yeah. after segregation was getting better. But yeah. but the black teachers at the black schools they lost their they, they lost their jobs right and uh, and so and it was like why yeah. can't white Part kids of the... go to black schools too right so <laughs> I mean I think that's, that's also what, lost in translation. Back then the uh, black schools unfortunately were very uh, like not funded enough and no I'm not I'm not this one that's pretty sure most of them went bankrupt. I don't, yeah, I don't that would bankrupt. also be true. Yeah. Yep, but then, like like the I white schools was... didn't rehire these black teachers in general, right? They just yeah. kept their own teachers. Why would you? Exactly, well, that's also true. 
why like maybe some, like you can't say that for all the schools but I obviously not a yeah. couple did just, and then but not the enough because it was what? a whole what? different what? school yeah. there Wait, what, what were you saying question? Question? Just because the segregation law ended doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean you're still going to treat people fairly. No, exactly, was, yeah. Uh, Just because... Let me... I can't look it up. You guys know about that school with the nine kids who integrated to the white school? but And then the that... president sent a military because they wouldn't let them in. Oh, wasn't that Ruby Bridges? Ruby Bridges, correct. Like, yeah. uh... Yep. And then that's like the first story I've ever heard of like segregation between schools. And uh, they it was like at the beginning of uh, trying to, it was after they casted the law, they chose a couple people to move because they had the high grades, but they weren't welcomed. Uh, no. I think out of the Little Rock Nine or something, it's called, I'm not sure, the book. Out of the nine, eight made it out, uh, like graduated. And then because they were bullied every day uh, for changing schools. But yeah, that's just an eye opener. That wasn't very long ago. Fifty years, I would say, maybe sixty years at the most. Maybe seventy. Seventy. Maybe. Um, oh, oh, yeah. That isn't really long uh, in like before in the fifties, around the fifties, I think. Yeah, around before the, the civil rights movement. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, I also wanted. To, I also wanted to mention, like I was talking about this earlier, where. A lot of the black, even just the bit of black history we do focus on, it's all about, you know, them, them through slavery, them through being oppressed. And obviously that's important and that needs to be talking about with a more open mind and everything. But I also feel like that makes them seem less human because you're only focusing on what they've been through, all the struggles and all the negative stuff, right? And you're not focusing on all the positive stuff and like let's like achievements. yeah and the achievements like who the first mm -hmm. black person to win the nobel peace prize or just african-american history like before like a lot of them were shipped sh like as like you know not yeah. going to the homes. u.s stolen from their homes yep. like like in actually in africa so we don't talk about that as much when we should and like yeah no one talks them. about why we're here exactly like, yeah that too there's history on why we're here is yeah. it going to be talked about now? Yeah, I mean, I'm aware they taught us about the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, like, there was like, is it called Bermuda? It was something else, Triangle. Bermuda Triangle. No, Bermuda Triangle is a thing. Yeah, yeah that's where like... you get lost. Yeah. Is it where you get lost? Yeah. There's like another triangle where it connected the ports in Africa and then it connected the Caribbean and connected the US. So it was the line where uh, that was the line where they sent how it all went they bring the goods from the u.s take them to africa they buy they slide buy people and then they bring them to the caribbean and like i've been taught at school yeah like, it was the we, slave trade system I yeah mean, slave yeah. trade system yeah. yeah it just i can't believe like it was a thing really thinking about it i don't know how someone can think that someone's lesser than them. like to be honest and people uh, still think that to this day, right? We still to this day. I mean, I guess my, at least for me, my, my Islam preaches that we're all equal from a long time ago, and then I've been taught we're all equal, and I know we're all equal. And uh, a lot of people just really have been taught wrong, and then they're led to believe really, and then you're telling them no. It's just a whole complicated thing. And I have a question for you guys. Uh, so it's a controversial topic. You know how like they're saying there should be diversity in the workplace. That's like right now we're talking like an uh, issue right now. Yeah, I've seen uh, that around. So uh, it's not an issue, but like should there? So if there was an equally qualified here, I can white... actually I can give this I can give a specific example for this. So right. there's been a recent controversy in the basketball scene. There has been there was a white female basketball commentator that was pushed to the side for I'll say kicked because. For this, uh, I think woman of color. I don't remember what yeah. what uh, ethnicity, Her but name? for a woman of oh, color, okay. and mm. and then she was saying how I I shouldn't be. Yes, I get that diversity is important. Like this is white the white person who was kicked. She she was saying how I get how diversity is important, but. I shouldn't be, and her name is Rachel Nichols, I shouldn't be pushed to the side for someone who's less qualified, whether or not they're white or black or Mexican or anything like that. So, yeah, that's an example I can give. And Yeah, yeah what are my, your thoughts on that, Yeah, Christian? what are your thoughts, Christian? Mm. 
My... I, I totally do get what you're saying. I totally agree with what you're saying, too. Uh, I, I just have... I'm just thinking about something. And... It, it's totally off topic, going back to what we were saying before. About the education, the way it's taught. Alright. But... I remember doing some... I was playing with my friend's brother. It, it was a game. And he invited his friend to the call. And I was just like, alright, cool. The first thing he does is talk about racism and slavery. And you know how, as we call it, like, everyone knows it as a plantation. In other, uh, in other states, they call it Candyland. They what? teach it as Candyland. What, like slave what? plantations? Yes, they call them Candyland. What state is this? What? Like, that, <laughs> some that southern I state? Mean, like, no. some. It's Florida. Yeah, okay, Florida. a southern state as expected, but. Yes. Candyland. That's, 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 that's sound like, never... That sounds like a Candyland. place to sell drugs like or something. <laughs> yes. I'm just and, confused. But, and I think about that till today. I'm just like, what? What? What is that supposed to represent? That everything's good. That racism was fine. Yeah. Like, uh, but slavery was fine. They were just digging up for candy or something. They're trying wait. to get across the board to the end until they died. Is that? Well, did you ask him? Did you confront him? What he thought? What that meant? I mean, how him? old is the your friend's bro? I mean, your brother's friend when this 14. happened. Okay. So okay. Was oh, that when you are you are you younger or older? We were the exact same age. Okay, it was same age. when COVID started. I okay, was that that before. that must be weird to hear. I've never heard know. that, and I'm like, yeah, yeah what, just what was your response? Make sense. You what is that? Sense. I don't know how to respond. Like, like what? <laughs> what? Why? But yeah, my, I... my first response was, "What is that supposed I... to represent?" When whoa, and it was something weird. It was just like when they put them. When they put him in, like, Candyland, and I was just like, what does Candyland represent? So, apparently, from what he's saying, slavery's fine. Like, yeah, that, that's I, just I don't know what they're thing. teaching. Yeah, that's just, candy is good, and, like, they're calling, and if they're using but, that name for plantations, they're I, calling plantations good. Like, I, I don't know. I can't understand the rest of it, though. I don't understand it. I don't, I don't understand I how that's how allowed to be taught. It. Oh. Yeah, you know what? This gets me thinking about. Uh, we have another another question about like uh, black. Uh, how, how's it being black? The black experience and like racism. Like you go online in lobbies, it's all hate towards like black individuals. All you hear is slurs and bad. Yeah, words. true. You I know what I mean. People just call oh, yeah. random, even if they don't know if you're black or not. They just say that. They just say it because they. It's, and it's, I, they were taught that it was right. What, what was that? You can't say it any other way. They were taught that it was right. They were taught that it was right. They, I don't know. It's it's odd to me that you just they're all toxic, and then they just yell. They try to put you down. They use slurs. They yeah. They use racism as a way to be toxic, and that's not okay. Yeah. But. I wanted to go back to the diversity in the workplace. Yeah, thing. yeah, that's what a was good question. what what was your thoughts on that though, Christian? The event with the commentator. I definitely didn't listen to what you were saying. Okay, here I'll repeat it again. Right. So there is this basketball commentator named Rachel Nichols. She's white. So she was recently kicked from commenting on the NBA playoffs for a woman of color. And she was saying how I shouldn't be kicked out of my job for even if it is for diversity for a, a person that is less qualified. So what are your thoughts on that? Hmm. Interesting. I mean, yeah, I I was like, I've had I had conflicting thoughts on it. It was like I, I just can't exactly piece it together. It's just. I think doing too much. You get what I mean? Like, I get we have to, but kicking someone, removing them from their livelihood to spread the good message, I don't think that's a good message they're spreading. You get yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, I can see the both sides. Like, this side of, like, change is not happening, so you have some sometimes forced change, and 
So I guess this is a first step to try to do that because like black people in work places are like you know they're not represented everywhere like especially in like entertainment so i guess this is a way to take a step but at the same time you, this is the nba finals and uh, our playoffs and you're putting someone less qualified like why i don't is that fair so mm -hmm. but the sport, I, yeah the you sports are really controversial yeah, yeah, that's true. That's an understatement. Controversial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's either a lot. Actually, a lot of people who are in sports are racist. To be honest, the, depending on the sport you play, or really just depending on the sport you play, because there are some that's really chill. That's just like, ah, oh, okay, we're trying to spread a good message. But things such as, like, football or basketball, it, it, it gets controversial in, like, many ways. Um, Give us an example. There was a few years ago about um, someone losing. I think they, uh, they missed the hoop, and it was basketball. And the coach started calling them the N-word over and over and over again. And there's a recent one with soccer. Um, oh, the penalties in the uh, Europa League, that one. Yeah, the um, there were three uh, yeah, people of color that were um. They missed the penalties for England. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. And then they, they were. Got, uh, 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 Yusaka, Marcus Rashford, and Jaden Sancho. They're the three African American. Oh, not they're not African American. They're just black they're people of color. Yeah, people of color who took the penalty shots. And then all three missed, which ended up so uh, much hate on like England Twitter, news. which is yeah. yeah. And, and then just, they got hate. There was whole thing about them not be, they shouldn't be able to play and yada 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 because they're they're fantastic they footballers. Like, yeah, they're very exactly. young. There's a, there's the an argument about them being too young to take the penalties, but then there's this argument. But then people took it another level and, are, and just started being race into it, which has nothing to do with their skill or anything, right? So I that's think when it over goes there they take soccer or like uh, football. Yeah, yeah, Europe soccer is a religion. It, uh, heart. Yeah, it's yeah. A religion. So, I I don't know the anger, the burst, but no one should be on the other end of that. So moving on from the topic, just of you know black history and diversity in the workplace and all that we talked about, we're gonna do a fun little discussion on what would your last death row meal be? Uh, Christian, you wanna you wanna start us off? Strawberries. Strawberries. <laughs> Strawberries. <laughs> Out of uh, season strawberries. <laughs> yeah, if it's out of season and you can't get it and you gotta wait a few seasons, I'm not dying. <laughs> <laughs> so the joke behind that is there's this like this inmate. He chose strawberries for his last meal because you you they were they were in season. I, was that yep. it, Christian? And they yeah, weren't in season. They, they were, weren't. They in weren't. Season. In season. They weren't yep. in scene, so he couldn't have them. So his last wish to us <laughs> to have strawberries. <laughs> Your last meal. I don't know about strawberries for my last meal. For my last meal, I'm going all in with all the junk oh, that there, I want. Is there a budget? Is there a budget? There is a budget. No, a budget. Should, I don't think Are we going to have a budget in this thing? No, no, There is no, a $20 no cap, I think. 20? Or if someone brings no, you food. No, no, yeah. no. Is there there is I don't think there is. Maybe there might, it might vary. There might be a budget per person, but it's not 20 for like... I don't think it's twenty for anything. It's twenty seems way too low for some of the meals that I've seen. You oh, all right, so yeah, because I've seen lobster and stuff in some of the meals, and no way that's twenty. Oh, maybe but... relatives brought it. Over yeah, maybe here. relatives help pay for it. But yeah, yeah. So let's say your favorite meals. Come on, let's go. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm. I'm going all in in my last death row meal. All the drinks. It's hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, hundred and fifty. So like, there's like fried chicken, chocolate cake. Uh, you know, a soda. Hey, uh, I've eaten Popeyes. Po you know? <laughs> yeah, Popeyes yeah. fried chicken, bro. That's just that's KFC divine. would put me in the mood, though. <laughs> I don't like KFC, so it would have me ready. Uh, yep. What else? I, I'm a foodie, bro. So I everything. I know fruits and vegetables. That's the only thing. I'm trying to yeah. enjoy it. Just <laughs> indulge myself. Can I have a? Oh. <laughs> Do you watch TikTok or YouTube at all? Yeah. Have yep. you heard of the vegan teacher? No. Oh, no. I just, oh, I just had a whole thought on what her last name would be. No, I, like, 
she has a song killing animals is bad if i was so... vegan for my last meal if i was vegan i'd and for my whole life and then i had my last meal i'm not i'm i'm not a vegan anymore bro <laughs> exactly i'm asking for the most intricate kind of meat they got <laughs> exactly bro just the, i'm asking for, I'm a, I'm asking for some kobe beef bro bones. some wagyu beef some kobe beef wagyu some i knew you were gonna say that i was thinking the same thing like a5 or something <laughs> 200 dollar piece of steak oh that's 50 dollars over <laughs> yeah you know, for me i just ask for pizza and a tub of vanilla ice cream yeah That's true it. you just want to indulge in your two favorite foods no that and then for me i'd have I mean, i'd have to have you a, get a dessert too is it like a three course i don't think it's a three course meal you can just ask for whatever food you want like you can yeah, ask for yeah. ice cream it's just you ha you can have it right i don't think it matters what food you ask for like, oh okay yeah like i've seen you know like, i'd ask for a get out of jail free card from monopoly and then we're good. oh you know if you get uh you know, if you have murder, you only have twenty three dollars oh, in the okay. state of California for your meal. I mean, yeah, what what they deserve it, I guess, right? Why should they enjoy the yeah. last meal too much? But well, you're getting a death penalty for a reason. Also, like, yeah, exactly. I think they banned the death penalty in California too. So I mean, yeah, that's, that's been going on recently. Yeah, but, it's, it's gone. I think. Oh, I didn't started, know that. But yeah. going back to the la la last meal thing, I remember I was watching a YouTube video about death row last meals and it was like one person asked for a plain black coffee that and that's it without any sugar for the last meal i'm like how depressed oh. are you and how like how <laughs> sick me, are you to ask for plain black dead, coffee yeah. how can you drink yeah but yeah you're except you're dead so just enjoy your final moments like yeah you're just yeah. gonna die like a minute after you're fine yeah i guess it also doesn't matter if you're gonna die a minute after your last meal so i guess that's the argument there yep yep yep, um, yep. It, Oh, would you guys have the fish on your last mm. meal? I would ask I don't for something that takes that so many days to make. That was something I've heard of. Yeah, that was like like of, that that was video. Video. because it takes like thirty days to ferment or something like that. Um, I don't think they do it, but that's a, I've seen that in the YouTube video. Is someone trying to do that? Where homemade that... fermented bread? You know, <laughs> I mean, it's a good idea. One I try to get more like. Potato. But also, I don't know. So I feel like if I was on my last, I know I'm gonna die. I don't want to delay it anymore because I've already accepted it. I don't want to just be in constant mental like torture about how I'm gonna die. So I'm I never just... gonna accept it until I'm in that one minute. But, I mean, yeah, that's gonna... also something that might yeah. happen. Yeah. Are you gonna have the appetite knowing that you're just gonna? Yeah, I feel like you're just vomit Off. right after. <laughs> You no, like no, but some of these guys are insane, so they're not thinking about that. Yeah, they're they're thinking about yeah. torturing these people. Like I remember this guy who asked for two. I was watching a video. This guy asked for two pecan pies for his last meal, and he ate one and said, I I "I'm gonna save this for later." Oh, <laughs> because he, I think he was insane at that point. He did, he had like Alzheimer's or something, bro. Because, oh no! I mean, I mean, okay. he never came back for that last pecan pie. Oh, he's just what trying to scare them. One. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, what? So Wait, what did you say, Christian? So an inmate asked for another inmate's blood for their last meal, and well, they granted that, that. That's interesting. Uh, that's, that's wh why. Weird. Why are you bringing this up? <laughs> why? On CBS News. Wait, what did you say? Yeah, it's on CBS News. Really? That way, that actually happened. Yeah, they gave it to him. You said. Yeah, here. I mean, yeah. I guess I guess they don't care about if all their inmate if they grab the blood from that guy, maybe he committed a murder or something. I just don't care. But how much did they, do you remember how much blood it was? I'm just queasy thinking about that. But. It, it's it's a uh, uh, it looks like a drop on the plate. Just oh, just draw. even even that though, it's like why? It makes my stomach crawl inside. Why do you want that? What kind I of... lost my appetite, really. I can't really think of foods anymore. I was trying to like, build up my appetite. Yeah, right thanks, now, Christian. Say what I want. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I, don't, I just want to die. <laughs> just leave me alone. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, that, no. I can't think of anything weird. I guess human skin, just any human body part. That's just Wait, weird. if you're having a heart attack on like death row, would they rush you to the hospital? No, they like, give you food yeah. and tell you to die. You're having a cardiac <laughs> arrest. Like, this time. Is there 
one if you get to watch one more youtube video would you watch uh, which video would you watch or a like, movie oops. or a movie or a movie because i don't think i'm watching a youtube video if i get i'll Jet probably watch a ksi old video with his oh, mom or you know that um i i just figured out how i'm never gonna die okay if yeah. I get to die, yeah you What's know that it? video it's a live video that has been that started in 2013 and has never ended nope it's, what Never heard of. They that. have a really? live stream of a street, and it's been going. Oh, it's still going on. And if you watch that, Death Row isn't an option for you anymore. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, mean I think it's more end. of torture watching that video for like yeah. years. Or like, <laughs> but it so the final topic so, of today is gonna. Sorry, what were you gonna say? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say the okay. final topic of today is what does it feel like to be a Karen Oshawa? Okay, that's the fake topic. We're, we're not doing that. Ha 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 ha! Oh my okay. god, so funny. And honestly, <laughs> though, you might touch upon that in a later episode. What the state? Not what I'm not a Karen. I mean, like <laughs> the stereo, the Karen stereotypes. But the real yeah. topic is it worth it? Is it worth it to get a driver's license as a teenager? I mean, for me, it's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like for Christian, I would. Uh, Christian, can you hear us? Christian, I could go. Uh, Christian, yes. All right, let's restart that. I'll, I'll, I'll go first. Don't worry. Hi, Wait, what? 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 What's happening? <laughs> I'm confused. What? Wait, Christian, are you lagging? I feel like he's lagged out. Aw, oh, he just ditched us like that. Okay, he's back. Christian? I think I had a big brain idea, so I just left and rejoined. Okay, what happened? I don't know. Wait, you said you had an idea. What was the idea? I just left and rejoined. That was the idea. Was it lagging okay. or something? Or Oh, I have to fix the lagging. All right, yeah. All right. Well, we restart again. Three. And then there was just like 900 Oshwats on my screen. <laughs> hey, I mean, I can't is complain of yeah. like 900 yeah, Oshwats. No, that's back. not very... What? <laughs> what? I don't need that many Oshwats. Nah, bro. More me, the better. Everybody needs 900. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Three, two, one, go. So we're going to move on to the final topic of today. Uh, it's gonna be about cars and Christian is a car guy. W is it worth it to get your driver's license as a teenager? And I'll start us Ooh. off by saying mixed, I'm mixed. Cause here's the thing. Depends. I I could have had I could I haven't even started my permit and I could have like a year ago by now, but like okay. I don't yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> but You're I don't know. Good job, old man. Congratulations. <laughs> yo. No, I'm not emphasizing <laughs> that all right. Room. I'm just saying something. But I don't know. For me it's like I always thought like I also I I do a lot of stuff outside of school, so I'm like, I don't know if I, I'm gonna have time for this. So like I don't wanna start something I'm not gonna finish. And then the other thing is like, hey, I'll just have my friends drive me around. But at the same time it's You so spoiled. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Spo hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll explain my friends. All good. Yeah, the freedom that comes with having a driver. True, license, that's the other side. Being like, able to drive. Exactly. And it's a big and, and it's a, it's like a it's like a step up and it's like a step into becoming an adult. Also, just yep, get, yep. being able to drive. So yeah, and I'm mixed really, on it. The teens who really need a car to drive are people teens who go to work or can't. Yeah, I also think that give a ride. Yeah, I think that for me, it's. I don't know. It's not. I don't. It's not exactly worth it when I, I ha, I'm lucky to have parents have a parent who is at home, so he sh they can drive me around if I need it. So mm. uh, yeah, like you said, like people who have like maybe two working parents and like a sibling, they can like drive their sibling and themselves to school, takes pressure out of the parents, or kids have to work a job for the family. Then it's easier for them to drive to their job, right? And Christian well, have to say something. Well, yeah, in the perspective of a single parent which I do have, also, uh, yeah. uh, and then going to school and your school being on the other side of town would be helpful. Yeah, yeah, if your school was far away from where you live, too, just if you could have your own car, and if you only have one parent who's 
working or has to take care of her siblings or anything like that it's i guess it's yeah less pressure off of them so i think for, at least for me personally i got it's it's like it'd be a luxury kind of to be able to it have is a, a luxury to drive yeah. not a lot of people can't afford to drive know how to drive exactly. it, it because, is a luxury yeah. and at, at such a young age where it's like usually a premium to drive yes but, so, but like for all the people who can afford it their, their parents just they spoil them like sometimes not all parents but you know they buy their kids an own car and i'm always i'm baffled of that because they don't need their own car at this age like maybe they fine if the kid saves up okay or if you're paying for it but they don't need the no, no 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 you did not let me finish though you didn't let me finish if the, if the kid if the kid saves up fine if the parents are paying half of it fine but if the parents are buying like a Lamborghini for the kid is what I'm saying. No, now we're mean. talking about the. Oh, okay, that wasn't even. Was <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna. I didn't. I didn't. I meant to say not just a regular car. Like, uh, Bro, parents are buying a luxury car. Uh, like there's so many rich kids that are gets spoiled yeah. by getting McLarens, Lamborghinis, and all that. As and like, why do yeah. you need that as a kid? Like you're trying to seem cool at school. Like, bro, I don't know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you really. Really, I guess most teens, uh, let's get a step back into reality. Get a yeah, fam the family car or like the older car. They give it to the kid. They get a yeah, they or they the they sh use the car when they one of the cars that the family yep. uses when yeah. they're yeah. Nineteen ninety six Honda Civic. Nineteen fifty classic. Bro, Volkswagen I bet you it still Beetle. runs <laughs> better <laughs> than. Yep, they're expensive. Yep. There's like the '66 cat uh, McLaren or something. It's really expensive. a McLaren. A '66 McLaren doesn't exist. Well, um, what was it called? Corvette, 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 Corvette. Oh yeah, the, the one like with the split window on the back. Yep. Are you did uh, vintage cars, Christian. Dodges from that year. Are you did vintage cars, Christian? It depends on what it is. Hey, okay, well, I'll pose this question. What? I know you want your driver's license, and if you if you could buy a what car, what do car do you want? Yeah. Oh, what car do you want? Mm. I want a Mustang. Mustang? Mustang. Just right I off do. the bat, first car is a Mustang? I or did it. You like Crowds. But like, I'm not going <laughs> to be whipping that thing that much. <laughs> that much? <laughs> not much, you know. I mean, maybe one or two crowds. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Mustangs are notorious to hit crowds or like civilians, people watching. So oh. he wants a Mustang. <laughs> you know, this, 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 this is how you get revenge on people you don't like. You just buy a Mustang. Drifting out of nowhere. Oopsie, oopsie. <laughs> Wait, what would you do with your license, Christian? Like, what do you, what do you I, really um, want to go with your, like, do with your driver's license? Where are you going gonna, and whatever? When I get, like, a year or two into, like, driving and I know I'm confident, I want to take a road trip. Yep. Yeah, I've like, always... That's dream. For me, I, I don't know. I just find road trips boring. But at the same time, I feel like... I guess with friends... It's yeah, I was going to say, with uh, friends compared to family, I feel like a road trip with friends oh. would be a cool experience. Family, it's like oh, more wait. of a disciplined trip where you can't really talk, you can't move, you can't... You, and then your little younger kid, younger siblings you bug you. Yeah. Yeah. At least for me. <laughs> and then... Uh, so I guess with friends, I've been told by uh, older relatives of mine, it's really fun. But would we you go all... on a road trip by yourself or by, with your friends? Christian? Road trip? No, with people. Yeah, with people. people, and so I'm guessing same for all of us. But okay. the thing is, you so, can't. Um, there's a law, right, where you can't, like, if until you have one year of driving. No, I don't with, even think uh, it's. Uh, I think it's more like uh, until you're like 21 or something. You have to it's if you're driving months. people. It's. Is uh, it? I swear, under, yeah, I remember. Under, under the age of ten, I mean not ten. Under the age of five. You can't have a child in your car under the age. I of swear five. it was like and you four. have if you're driving anyone around under the age of eighteen, there has to be someone who's uh, has Ashwa. who's like no 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 has to be in the that's car. Your, um, that's your permit. provisionary permit. So that's a year, including your driver's permit, mm -hmm. and then you have your next permit, which is technically your license, which yeah. means you can drive around by yourself, but you have to have someone in the car. Oh, oh or, if you want to uh, drive uh, uh, people younger. If you want to have a, like, a younger person in your car with you. Yep, and then there's the... Old, the 25, yeah. I think uh, I'm sure that you have to drive at least one year with a provisional driver's license. 
and then you can ride with anyone you want. It's, I think it, it's, it's six it. months of each. Of six driver's months. permit, and then uh, six the, months of uh, yeah. you can ride with anyone. So, yeah, really, there is repercussions, but once not that much on driving with friends. So I mean, that, I'm kind of. I feel like okay, dri- my Mustang won't be ba- that bad, dude. It's, it's, is it like, gonna seat four? Maybe four, nine four? people. Is nine people seat- at the most. Nine people. Like nine people at the most. We're not going to go anymore. Like, ten's a bit excessive. I don't want to hurt that many people. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want to hurt people at all. It's just, just Mustang doing Mustang thing. <laughs> Mustang. Oh, hey, hey, driving, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> driving, I feel like, it would be fun, though. Just the experience of it. So, at the same time, I, like, okay. kind of want to get my license. But at the same time, I feel like a bit What is your ideal budget for your first car? My ideal budget. You know what? Here's the thing. Budget. I'm the complete opposite of a car person. I don't know anything about cars. So, mm-hmm. I don't know, like 10,000. Uh, 10,000? That's uh, a lot, dude. Okay, okay, yeah, I don't know anything about it. So, 2,000 or something. 2,000, that's too little now. You're buying a 19. No, no, you can get a good car. <laughs> no, no, I, I know nothing about cars. So. so, I would say a good price for a car, maybe 4,000. I'd say three. Three, three, you're, eh, but yeah, I'll take, I'll take whatever I can get as long as it's not run. Yeah, down, I'm, get, I'm probably gonna get the f- the cars that you see. No, no, no. The only reason they're cheaper is because of their mileage and their years. Yeah, the mileage, yeah. And which honestly, yeah, I know about that. Over, like, but like, Christian, if miles, you've used it, better. so if you've used it a lot and if you have abused it, really, you're gonna have problems as an owner. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks good on the outside, but the inside, you really don't know once... Um, Your engine's going to explode on you, bro. Yeah, well, not explode. It's just going <laughs> to... You're going to have to go to the mechanic every month. Uh, you're going to have issues with it. You have to go to the mechanic every month. It's called the regular oil yeah, change. Yeah, don't you always have to go to the mechanic? Oil yeah, change? Oil change. Not, yeah. like, oil change is different than, like, you have I, to yeah. do other stuff. I ain't talking about... Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to put a new, what, engine in your car for no reason? Engine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we, we've gone from this to this now. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> we're <laughs> everywhere, dude. We're everywhere. But like, I would it's say a a good yeah, first car for a teen is like ten grand and less. Good first car okay. for a teen. Ten grand is like rich people. I want a Mercedes money. No, really? you're you're kind of, you think I, rich people no, are no, no. too rich? Like, I mean, what is your definition of rich people? I want a Mustang. And yeah, then, you want a Mustang, uh, brother? Yeah. What are you talking and about? Then, no, 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 no. And then there's like two, three grand. That is, I'm Mustang taking my two, dad's beat grand. up car that he had in night. Yeah, the most beat two. up Mustang for three grand. That's what he wants. Three grand. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Let me do some research. Wait, it's it's all false research, and now cars are up in price because there's a chip shortage, and all the new cars need chips, and then so all the Cars are selling above listed value for like instead of about like six thousand above, and then all the all the old cars are just going up too. So right now prices are inflated for cars because of the chip shortage. Yeah, well, it's an accident, and your car all your car is always going to depreciate. Yep, yep. It's not a good asset to own the car. Like I wouldn't go. I wouldn't buy a brand new car ever because in a ever? no years, no no I would buy a brand new car I wouldn't drive it because it does help you with taxes taxes so if you buy a brand new off the lot car it reduces your taxes does it really well I guess that's yeah. a, that's a scary you just buy the car but have I it mean, as a trophy but, but don't use it I mean I like, still think I don't know but if it were to spend on a new car in years is going to go to 50,000 you're going to lose $20,000 yeah. on a 7 You know there's year. cars that you can buy that are like 10 grand Yeah that is a lot new. true yeah Brand They're going to be small like a mini <laughs> It'll be like a two seater smart car it's a smart smart car. Car. We go <laughs> from a realistic car to a smart car. <laughs> Yo, we are whipping around smart cars, saving us on taxes, electric, small, compact, you can fit them anywhere. I'll put one in the room real quick. Just put, that, put one in the, the, room, <laughs> <laughs> one in the back of my closet, you know. So that's going to be it for the episode, guys. Uh, glad that you stuck by us for this whole time if you did. Uh, thank you, Christian, for coming on, and we'll definitely have you again maybe once we start recording it in person do you have any social but, medias christian yeah, I mean, you want to plug at the moment i don't i don't really plug my social media 
All right, all good. You don't, you don't need to. You don't have to. You don't need to. If you well, enjoyed the episode, just comment down below any suggestions for topics, uh, discussion topics, news topics, in the A &As, anything you think should talk about down below. Hit that subs big red subscribe button. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Hit that notifications bell. And this has been Bidging with Babblers, and you'll, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, guys.